this moment, I can't determine where reality ends and fantasy begins. But it doesn't matter, because right now, all I feel in my soul is inner peace. Hello and welcome back to the channel. Today I'm at East Mont Lake Park in Seattle and it's a perfect day for an amphibious operation. So we're gonna get the kayak out and we're gonna hit the waters. Uh, just out here is Lake Union and around the corner over there is Lake Washington and Seattle Arboretum is right over here and they have, it's kind of a little sanctuary. They have beavers and pelicans and ducks and it's just a nice place to kayak. Very popular place. People come out here on the weekend and kayak like crazy. But I came out today, which is a Wednesday, and I saw no kayakers out here, so it was great. But it's a great place to get away from the city, even though it's in the city, and uh, see some wildlife. Let's do it. early morning on a warm day in September and I chose to get out one last time on my kayak before the coolness of fall was about to set in. Normally, I'm not one for kayaking around the city, but the Seattle Arboretum seems different. In parts, the place makes you feel like you're away from the painfully slow traffic and crackhead addicts trying to hustle you for money. This place represents what all of Seattle was at one time. For those who prefer not to kayak, there's a trail that leads through the Arboretum for all to enjoy its beauty. But this place is best viewed on the water, and there are no shortages when it comes to photo opportunities.
It took me some time to round this point because of the current coming off of Lake Washington. It's an easy paddle around the Arboretum until you actually get to the lake and then you have to put in some effort. As I approached the 520 bridge, it wasn't clear which way I should go. But with each stroke, my desired path became less of a mystery as I drew closer. The ducks were hanging out chilling while they enjoyed their meal as I paddled on looking for a place to go. As I headed in their direction, they showed little indication that they intended to move out of my way. And in a matter of a moment, it was like the lily pads parted just wide enough to accommodate my kayak to show me the way. It was a bit of a struggle keeping my paddles from entangling in the lily pads. Calm waters reflected the mirror image of reality. It was a surreal experience.
and in a matter of seconds, I had Doug's flying in formation overhead. I attempted to capture the moment on video, but the birds were just too fast. Fortunately for me, my GoPro was running. I eventually found myself at a dead end and had to reverse course. I found that to be an excellent opportunity to head back. Well, that was a nice little adventure. We saw some pelicans, we saw some ducks, we saw a whole bunch of scenery. Overall, it was a pretty, pretty good day. Uh, this is a nice little workout for you over here at the Seattle Arboretum. My only complaint is it's a little small, but I was out there probably for an hour, an hour and a half, and usually that's as long as anybody really wants to kayak anyway, right? So the next time you're in Seattle and you're looking for something free and awesome to do, come out here to the Seattle Arboretum, which is right next door to the University of Washington, and you'll have a great time. Good job. Mm -hmm.